How you doing? No, not so well. No? No. You know that uh, your site is getting a couple of dozen hits a day and not a single person from anywhere on that site from anywhere in the world has done anything to contact us. Not a single one. Really? Yeah. Phones have been quiet. Yeah. I'm trying to get something going to get Jennifer home, but nobody cares. What did you have in mind? Well, there has to be a lawyer or a team of lawyers who take up this case. As of now, no lawyer has offered to come up with um, pro bono work. Do they have to be U.S. or do they have to be Canadian? Well, it would have to be Canadian because it all has to do with the illegal activity of Canadian government agencies. Mind you, the same kind of stuff is going on in most countries in the world. And it looks from the cell's point of view that the migrations from Syria, about four million people are available, are basically to change the bureaucracies all around the world. That they don't uh, think that the bureaucracies that are in place have any role in the future and there must be a different gene pool to take their place. So activities throughout the world are basically being designed to eliminate the existing bureaucracies and replace them with a new gene pool from Syria. Most of the um, problem deals with immigration and the moving in of these Syrians by the tens of thousands, Canada is supposed to get 25,000 by the end of March or end of February. And the private sector is also sponsoring an equivalent number. So if you have uh, 50,000 people who've all been trained to operate a government the way that Syria's genetic engineers wants them to operate, you got to get rid of the people who are in place. And that's what the Lou at the Sioux is, because in the eastern part of North America, that's where most of these original ones were placed from uh, Lake Superior to the Maritimes. Mm -hmm. and that includes Chicago and Detroit and Cleveland, Buffalo, Rochester, all the way down to New York in the U.S. But in Canada, it will also include Hamilton and Toronto, Montreal, now, Canada seems to have uh, hit a snag ever since the cell told me about that, and I've been talking to Jennifer. Obviously, they've been listening in, and what was a, a certain 10,000 by the end of the month was down to 2,000. And that's all down from what the original number was, 25,000 before the end of the year, 
which they then expanded to be end of February. So it must be the bureaucrats are listening in and are slowing down their activity at the other end. Right now, yeah. most of the Canadian experts on uh, immigration are in Syria, or not Syria itself, but uh, Lebanon, Jordan, and uh, Turkey. But they're, they're pre-clearing all of the immigrants. As soon as they land, and there's 2,000 that came this week, as soon as they land, they are nationalized, landed immigrants with all the rights of Canadians. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is it about Jennifer that she couldn't get landed immigrant status when, in fact, she is <laughs> my wife and a part owner of this farm since Megan handed over her shares. They don't want her secret out, you know? Yeah. She, whatever, <clears throat> whatever it is, and there are just too many options here, they <clears throat> scared the daylights out of them. I'm eating lunch. The cell said I have to get a different site to get the message out because obviously no one that goes to your site is interested. They are interested, but not interested in helping. Yeah. I mean, you know, it could be posted on other sites, but I mean, I guess you don't know, but you really need the the right people listening. That yeah. Way. Not necessarily some kids on the internet that'll listen, but crowdfunding. Yeah. Is there a number in mind that is kind of the goal? Well, most lawyers don't start on a case unless they're going to make ten thousand dollars, and this is not an easy case. I mean, this is not your juniors, this has got to be handled by a um, well-known lawyer in a um, law firm that has a reputation for not being afraid of taking on the government. Yeah, it's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Now, mind you, it's not as bad as it would have been had the conservatives won the election. Now that there is a new government, <laughs> they have uh, really nothing to defend when it comes to them because they haven't been in power since 2005 or 2006. So mm. that's where we're at. Would the cell be able to narrow down like a firm that could do that? Like, say the money does come in somehow, so it's spent the right way? I'm sure that they are well aware of any of the possibilities. And I also have uh, contacts within ex-members of the RCMP mm. who... Um, know which lawyers went against them, more than likely able to uh, take on a immigration case versus the government. But this government has nothing to lose since they won a majority in the last election. So. They are in charge if they want to do something. Yeah. I've even suggested that this case is 
important to bilateral relations between Canada and the United States. Since that relationship was used to deny Jennifer refugee status, saying that it's not possible that anybody living in the U.S. would be in danger from authorities. I guess they haven't read the stories that start with Black Lives Matter. Okay. They haven't read the stories that McGill University and the Montreal Health Establishment was found guilty of doing brainwashing experiments on Canadians on behalf of the CIA called MKUltra. Yeah. Funded by the Rockefellers on behalf of the U.S. Navy. I think, you know, the, the best thing that could happen in this case is that if Obama, on a return trip from the western United States, would pick up Jennifer, <clears throat> drop her off in Ohio, where Prime Minister Trudeau would have his helicopter and himself waiting, and after they shook hands, Jennifer would leave Air Force One and get onto the helicopter and be brought past the border guards right to the farm here. Hmm. Then we would know that what they've been talking about when they talk about change, which was the model for both in their last elections, that they are talking about real change, not coins given at Walmart in yeah. return for your $20 bill. Yeah. <laughs> in any event, I have to get back to Jennifer. I stopped what I was doing just so I could have a bowl of soup. And I got to get back to her. So I'll tell you, I'll tell her that you called, and she knows that you and Jerd have always done what you could. So, but it's the site that's not appropriate for our our needs right now. Do you need like? Okay. You need another site built, or how, like what? What are they saying? I don't know yet what we need until the cell is more detailed. But I'll let you know if I okay. have uh, anything in particular. It seems to me that what they are suggesting as our audience would be ordinary people, not with a political grudge. And... Uh, I don't know yet which way that would go, but they're working on it. Okay. Stay on it, for me. Okay, we'll do. Bye for now. Okay.